our young patient here, Paula, uh, uh, I'm going to show her the difference between how we now take a scan using our intraoral scanner uh, versus taking an impression. So for those who remember this technique, basically we mix up this material called alginate, which is actually made of seaweed. This is a color-coded alginate, so it will change to white when it's set in the mouth. So what I do is I let it go from purple. When it starts going pink, then we put it in the mouth. Some children don't appreciate this because they have active gag reflex, right? Um, and some parents out there may remember this is the way things used to be done. So if we have a look now, just over the middle wide there for me. We want to try and get the impression over the lip. Just try and put your lip over that for me. Excellent. Good. Then we have the ordeal of pouring this up in plaster. Uh, all of these are, are zones of inaccuracy. So there's nothing more accurate than actually doing a one-to-one -one digital scan in the mouth. I've been in this business for 30 years. Um, uh, only in the last three or four years have we gone to digital technology. And even then, the scanners have improved. This is now version three of the scanner that we're using. It's much faster, more comfortable for the patient. Right. So there's your impression of the teeth. I want you to compare what we currently do. So this is the machine that we're using. Uh, it's called an Itero. It was initially developed by the Invisalign team. Now this is an open file, so I can use this scan to send to any laboratory I want to, uh, to make whatever appliance I need, including retainers, etc. So we have a, a tip that goes on the end of the wand. This is a clean tip for every uh, patient. So it's one-off use, disposable. We're scanning from the molar and coming all the way around through the incisors and then coming around to the last molar. And this scan then is a lot more accurate than using the uh, impression material in the past. So you can see how easy that is and how comfortable it is for the patient. So I uh, look forward to seeing you in one of my clinics and the introductory experience after we sat down and we've talked about what options you may need for your orthodontic care would be for a scan of the teeth. So that will be you one day and uh, we'll be able to then show you the scan.